A lot of parents have questions about whether or not it's safe to use bug repellents and bug sprays on their kids. And this is a good question. There are some precautions that should be taken. One of the main ingredients in bug sprays is DEET. And it can vary in concentration anywhere from about 10% up to 30%. And research has shown that anything above 30% isn't more effective but it may just increase the risk for, for certain populations. And so you can use products with DEET for children unless they are less than two months of age. And just make sure that it's only going on uncovered skin and ideally that more of their skin is covered than not. And a thin layer is just applied over their clothes and on the skin that is exposed. And after children come indoors, give them a bath or give them a shower and make sure that they're thoroughly cleansed with soap and water. When applying it, be sure to not spray it directly in their face because you don't obviously want it in their mouth or in their eyes. And for small children like babies and young toddlers who are sticking things in their mouth and sticking their hands in their mouth constantly, you don't want to be putting it on their hands so that they'll be putting their hands in their mouth and ingesting it. It's best to avoid areas where there's a lot of bugs and mosquitoes and the potential for being bitten, if at all possible, when you have small children. But if you are going outside, again, it is okay to use a little bit as long as the children the child isn't less than two months of age you can also consider alternatives like there are some natural and or more holistic bug sprays and repellents that have been uh, formulated using certain essential oils like cedar citrus soybean and eucalyptus and the american academy of pediatrics has studied these type of products and shown that they are about as effective as a 10 percent deep product and so you can use this as an alternative but the same rules apply you want to make sure it's not going in their mouth or in their eyes and that they're not sticking their hands in their mouth and actually ingesting it and it's not sprayed on open wounds also be aware that products with DEET and sunscreen in them should not be used because the DEET in sunscreen products can make the sunscreen less effective. You also need to think about how often it needs to be reapply, reapplied. Products with a lower percentage of DEET need to be applied more frequently. So this may be every one to two hours versus a product with a higher concentration that may be effective for up to five hours. If you have more specific questions or concerns about it, talk with your pediatrician. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.